If you guys want to get some awesome teams and guaranteed class players, make sure you go and check out FootCoinKing.com. Their link is down below. And if you use discount code B87, you get an extra 6% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another best possible squad builder by myself Bates and 87 today we are visiting a nation which a lot of you guys have been wanting in the comment section below for a very very long time and it is none other than Poland. Now if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes make sure you check out G2A.com their link is down below in the description and if you do want ultimate team coins guys Foot Coin King is now back open so make sure you go and get them from there. If we can try and smash over 4,000 likes that would be absolutely sick and with that said guys Let's get in and build this team. In well, better set up the parameters first. Also, guys, if you do want to see any of your favourite nations, leagues, or clubs done in the future, make sure you let me know in the comment section below which ones you want doing. I'll aim to do them. So, in the goalkeeper position, we have informed Chesney, the Arsenal highest rated goalkeeper. Um, yeah, we'll talk about him in the highlights. In the centre back position, we have uh, second in form Glick uh, from the Sevilla. Yeah? Um, very, very slow, bought him for discard price as well, which isn't good for a fresh team of the week player this week. In the other centre back position, we have Perquis as well. Uh, obviously there is two versions of him as well uh, Also guys a lot of people are saying why didn't you put Glick in there You can't because there's already one informed version of him in there I did notice it in one of the old best possibles we did do a couple of weeks ago In the right back position we have the most expensive player in the team Which is informed piss checks Currently selling for well over 1 million coins For a player which hasn't really got that many extra stats Compared to his non-informed which is absolutely crazy But obviously everyone loves the different card types in the left back position, we have a silver, which is Bonish. Um, I think that's how you say his name from Leverkusen. Um, with 78 pace, 80 physical. We're going to pay around a K for this guy. In the centre midfield position, we have. Yep, quick. Krikowiak. Yep, I'm going to butcher a lot of names as you see me do in the past. Anyway, originally a CDM converted up to a centre midfielder. And we have built this team, guys, trying to not change that many for uh, change that many positions. And I think, actually, this is the only position change we do actually do. In the right midfield position, we have Jacob uh, Blachukowski, um getting the perfect link with pitch check. So if you guys are looking for hybrids, then that's a decent one for you to get. In the camp position, on the right-hand side, we do have a Braniak as well. I used to love this guy in FIFA 14 um, there is two versions of him as well we went with the Bundesliga one just to get that extra green link 68 pace bit slow decent shooting decent passing decent dribbling though and um, I think he had 4 star skills last year as well so he's lost that in the camp position on the left hand side we do go with Mio Dujewski now if you guys can say these names correctly honestly there's something special about you because I struggle saying these type of names um, I struggle saying like basic names as well just the way I am in the left midfield position we go with Rybus as well we have had him last year I remember him being very very good and yet again he uh, did steal the show for the silver players in this team and obviously guys to finish off the best possible Poland team we're going to finish off with the highest rated player in there it's currently we're knowing forms as well and it is Lewandowski the Bar uh, I'm gonna say Barcelona then Bayern Munich striker four star skills 81 pace 84 shooting 85 dribbling 78 physical and honestly he feels really, really slow being a solo striker. It was very, very frustrating playing with him in this team. And actually, the whole team was frustrating. I will talk about that a little bit more in the highlights. So, if you guys do want to see any more best possibles done with your favourite teams, clubs or nations um, uh, and leagues as well, make sure you leave comments down below and I will pick them out for two a week. Um, and we do them at the weekend. So, smash that like button, guys. Subscribe if you are not subscribed already. And remember to check out the later video coming which you guys may enjoy as well so let's get into the highlights we did get with this team so honestly guys this was the most frustrating i think to, last weekend we played with some frustrating teams but this was the worst the defense even though it's quite high rated was very hard to defend with Chesney. Honestly, if you're going to fork out the money for Chesney, guys, you need your head re-evaluating. He jumps over the ball and everyone scores against you. It's very, very fucking annoying. I was getting very pissed off. Um, I'm still pissed off, actually, because I'm recording this just after playing with the team. Um, but, yeah, it was frustrating. They, they were absolutely garbage. The standout players in the team, for sure, were Brandniak, um, Rybus, and also Jacob Blachikowski as well. Lewandowski was all right, but I didn't rate him as a solo striker. You definitely need someone... Um, next to him but unfortunately Poland doesn't have that decent player to put next to him now Lewandowski is not bad 
at his first touch. He can get a fast acceleration off his first touch and get a few penalties as well as you are seeing in the highlights. Now, we didn't really get many highlights with this team. It was frustrating me. Played around seven games and uh, got smashed in a majority of them. Like, uh, when I say smashed, I mean like 6-2 and 6-1 and 7-0. It was frustrating as shit. But we did get a few goals. Not the nicest of goals, I must add. But it would be pointless playing more games with this team just because I would have been sat there for hours just trying to get enough goals and nice goals for you guys to look at but that's not the way we do things here we show you the truth I tell you the truth about the players and um, give you honest opinions so a Braniac three star skill moves I'm pretty sure we had four last year pretty pretty good player the CM um, whose name I cannot say was pretty bad he was very very attacking even though he was originally a centre midfield uh, CDM sorry in form piss check he liked to bomb forward and frustrated the shit out of me and there was a player who you are seeing here, um, and his nickname is Adrian, as you see on the back of the shirt. He was rapid, 79 pace, 76 dribbling, four-star skill moves. It's just a shame he plays in the ALJ League, which obviously a lot of people don't go near. And he was definitely one of the cheap beasts, but obviously no one's going to use him because of the league's in. So guys, drop a like, rate and subscribe if you're not, and we'll see you again next time for another video.